Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Wario Land 4. Today we're visiting the Mystic Lake. Let's go. I don't know why, but Wario's voice clips just really add to this game in a way that I've seen other voice clips fail to. Great attentiveness to what's going on there, me. So, there's been an optional segment earlier on that allowed me to go for a swim. Ah! There, those enemies can be defeated. You just need to hit them in a place that's not sharp. Oh, okay. So I am meant to go underwater. I thought there was an upper path that I could take that I missed. And I think that, therefore, this might be the uh, uh, first level where the... Re oh, hey. Look at this. This is what I'm looking for. This might be the first level where the return trip is significantly different from the trip out tutorial with an excellent reward. Oh, I see. Okay, I need to stay a little farther back to knock him around. Nope. Okay, I need to stand really far back for that one. Hello, archaeologist guy. I am here to use you to reach treasure. There. So, this lake is just a place that is also a lake. With wild fi fish and other animals. and other terrifying creatures. Huh, some of these holes are unoccupied. Fascinating lesson to learn there. Now, is there anything over here? There we are. Now why would I go up this path instead of the other path? Ah! Well, I need to defeat eight more enemies in order to... Uh... I would go up that path 
instead of the other path because it's easier and closer. Hmm, interesting. That seems suspicious. There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You. Give power. I think it's a really clever bit of design that things that are power-ups can also be obstacles. That's interesting, so even if you fail to dodge the first bubble at least, you still get to move onward. You just have to dodge an obstacle. Don't grow impatient. That's how they get you. I was trying to swim downwards, but I wasn't holding the right button. Anyway, bubbles. They let you go upward through downward pointing uh, water. Whoops. Well, I got that somehow through sheer dumb luck. No, get back here. If I collect enough of these, extras turn into money. And look, another indication of the path changes when you, uh... Uh... are on the return trip. Whoops. Need to try again. I would prefer if the uh... if you didn't have to reload the whole area in order to get another shot at this. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, and that was my only shot at that. Well now, that's interesting. Whoops. Oh, oh no. I was... I almost went right into that trap. Oh, hey, why was that... They're just a distraction. Whoa! Much as I want to just charge headlong throughout the rest of the level, I gotta keep stopping to deal with stuff or else something like that'll happen. Alright. Now all that's left is the CD.
And there we go. So yeah, well you can tackle the four different passages in any order. This one is really, really the tutorial passage that teaches you without teaching you that, among other things, your return trip can be very different from the trip out. And I think that's nice. And that you're not going to find everything there is to find on the way out. Some stuff is only available on the return trip. Monsoon jungle. Let's go. I don't know why, but for some reason I just love to hear the uh, bit where Wario shouts at you to hurry up. Now I'm sure that was some frame perfect whatever the whatever. I could potentially uh Um Come on, brain. I'm sure that was some frame perfect whatever I could potentially get the key on my way or er, before I trigger the frog at the end. Haha! -ha! So that's how this one's done. Oh, right. I like half of the gr I like how half of the green place levels are Variations on water levels. Ah. Oh. Huh, you cannot defeat this enemy. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Is there any reward for going down below? Clearly there must be. Oh, hey. Oh, wait. That enemy... Uh, does something. Oh no. It's very thoughtful of them to make sure that you, whoops, that you cannot open this until you can actually reach the top by jumping. I like that. Ah, oh, really? I want that eighth of an heart and heart there that they are supposedly carrying. Okay, so. Hey, you. That is quite the launch. Oh my. Oh, oh right. There's a slope. And now I can get the CD. Oh, 
there's a purple pipe up there. Is there anything? Of course there's something fun within. Oh, interesting. I do love the way they ask you to think creatively about the mechanics. Now what's down here? Oh. Also, I love the existence of those treasures too. If you get them early enough, you can use them to get all kinds of extra monies because They max out your hearts, so you only need eight uh, health drops from enemies to start getting cash monies instead of needing a instead of getting any whole hearts out of enemies. Okay, so oh, this is interesting. Is there anything here worth going after? Get hit by that to ascend more quickly. But yeah, the the Wario Land games have a lot of interesting bits of design, like starting with Wario Land 2, where abilities can be obstacles, for example. Depending on the context. Ah, good job. Oh, good. Ah. Okay, so I guess I'll just descend here and hope for the best. Continue my descent. Hmm. And there is the frog. Oh, now this is interesting. Why would I want to ascend here? You there. Tell me why I'd want to ascend. Is there something up at the top that I missed? Oh, well that's interesting. Once you start traveling sideways, you can't stop traveling sideways. I never noticed that before. Haha! -ha. Huh, interesting. I appreciate the way these levels ask you to think about all the mechanics available at your disposal and what you can do with them. And look, another place where the return trip is, whoa, extremely different from the trip out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hey, what's this? Hmm. 
Well, I'm just gonna head up here and hope that that gets revealed later. Okay, was there a slope anywhere around here? There was a secret door. A necessary secret door. Well, it's a good thing that I came back to look around then. Hmm, how do I get to that, though? Let's see, I already got the CD, right? Yeah. So that's just gonna be some ca some cash, which I don't necessarily need. What? That slope? No, these slopes don't slope. Oh, well, I know where the key is. That's just going to be some cash. Alright. Levels like this, you have plenty of time to get back. But later levels play it a little more close, I think. Ah! Okay. I appreciate how early on they start uh, having return trips be significantly different from the trip out. It is nice. There. That's the way out. I mean, as the earliest levels demonstrated, the return trip feels different just because of a timer, but then they actually make the return trip different by interlacing new areas with old areas. Alright, join me next time when I fight the boss. Save point. I will see you then.